guys, I thought I would do an Easter treats video. I've done one of these at Christmas and Halloween and I wanted to do an Easter one because Easter is really pastel coloured just like the top I'm wearing right now. Totally in the spirit aren't I? And I thought it would be super cute to help you guys out if you're having a little Easter party or if you just want to make these for yourself because why not? Leave me a comment below of which one is your favourite as we're going through them and which one you would like to try. Sorry for how zoomed in I am right now. Basically I am in a rush to go out and buy some ingredients and my camera was just sat here because I just did a makeup video so I'm kind of using my makeup setup which isn't really that great. I should have moved it further back but what can you do? Anyway if you want to see me bake some treats carry on watching. So the first thing I'm going to be showing you is how to make these yummy white chocolate eggs that have got loads of treats inside and the first thing you want to do is melt some white chocolate in a bowl. After that you want to get an egg mould and pop lots of different things in. I put these freeze dried strawberries in which was so nice and some jelly beans. I wouldn't use these pearly things again but yeah that is what you want to do. Just fill them with yummy treats and then pop the chocolate on top. You can actually use yoghurt for this as well, just put yoghurt in instead and pop them in the freezer which is what I was going to do but I totally forgot to buy the yoghurt because I'm stupid so I ended up having to use chocolate but they would be so much healthier. Once you've filled them with lots of treats and filled the chocolate up to the top just pop them in the fridge to set. Now moving on to these yummy white chocolate nests. What you want to do is take some white chocolate, I took two bars of Milky Bar and melted it down and then just added some Special K. You can add whatever cereal you want really but I always find that Special K works the best. Just give it a little mix and then transfer it to some buntings. I actually ended up putting these gummy carrots on top and little macarons because I couldn't find any mini eggs. Who can't find mini eggs at Easter? That is just so ridiculous. But I also put some sprinkles on top and these are the finished buns. Now on to my favourite thing which are these cookies. First thing you want to do is get 125 grams of sugar and 125 grams of butter and cream them together. Then go ahead and add one large egg and a teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix that all together. Then sift in 225 grams of self-raising flour and mix that in with a little old spoon. Then it's time to add all the fillings you want in your cookies. I went for Smarties, white chocolate chunks, sprinkles and milk chocolate which I actually put on the top so I just mixed them in for now and seriously guys the more the better. And all I did to get perfectly round cookies was take the dough in an ice cream scoop and pop them on the tray. I added some more filling to the top just to make them look super pretty and then popped them in the oven. You should pop them in for 8 to 10 minutes just to make sure that they are nice and kind of crispy on the outside but still a little bit runny and soft on the inside. They were honestly delicious. Now I'm just doing a cheeky little montage of all the food. Let me know in the comments which one is your favourite. end of my Easter treats video let me know in the comments which one was your favorite and if you do make any of these tweet me with the hashtag bakewithgab I will leave it on screen right now so you can see how to spell it and stuff or pop a picture on Instagram and tag me with that hashtag as well and I will go through and like them and oh my god I'm so excited I hope you all have a lovely Easter and I'll see you in my next video bye guys <sighs> <sighs> I'm sorry for how zoomed at I'm sorry for how zoomed in I <laughs> I've got a hiccup and it's stuck here. It was a burp. <laughs> Ew.